in the modern world, you can recognize a primate by its anatomical features. There are features of the skeleton, such as a complete post-orbital bar around the eye, the reduction of the lacrimal bone. Uh, there are features of the nervous system, such as an enhanced visual system, the increased extension and size of the corticospinal tract, an enlarged cerebellum, and large cerebral hemispheres. Um, there are other changes, such as the N-globin gene, the inactivation of the gene to synthesize vitamin C. And so a host of anatomical features define the group we call primates. There are, however, in the world, a couple of mammals which have some but not all of these features and seem to be the cousins of primates. They are small, they are adapted for arboreal life with grasping hands and modifications of the nervous system which allow more voluntary control over dexterous fingers. Uh, they have a very enlarged brain for their body size. and so. It may have been from animals not too dissimilar from tree shrews that the group of primates evolved.